we have any kids? Coming up. All right, here we go. Okay. So while you guys are coming up, I have to go grab this. Because you can't have an object lesson without objects. Okay. So do you guys know what this is? A present, right. Sometimes we call them a gift. So I'm going to say that's, that's our gift. And then do you guys know what this is? No. You guys know what this is? No, this is wrapping paper. See, um, but to use this kind of wrapping paper, you need a DJ. Uh, like maybe DJ Logan. He could play something that could hit it like really hard. Rick? Right up against it. The small one. There you go. Yeah, hold it. Hold it real close. Yeah, no, not something like that hard. Something a little more softer, maybe. That one's a little bit, that's a little bit much. There we go. Yeah, so like a little ways back, I, uh, I saw a play about Christmas, and I thought I'd let you guys know what it, what it was about, okay? Okay, so it goes a little something like this. People were ill and all across the land. It was tax season and the king had a plan. He sent all the people back to where they were born for a census, which I'm sure they adored. As we moved down the line, things started to get hairy. God chose Joseph and a virgin named Mary. They grabbed a couple of mules, started to cross the land. Their destination was called Bethlehem. You see, night had fallen, they had arrived in a fix, because every inn was full, even Motel 6. Oh, you guys got that one? <laughs> they found a barn on the west side of town. It wasn't quite homey, but they had the bed down. On this very night, she delivered a babe. It was a boy, God's son, sent of the world to save it from, you know, do you guys know what it was sent for, what it was from? Sin, right. They, because God needed to, uh, what was the word, unbind mankind from a serious debt called sin, which God couldn't forget. He sent, he sent his son as a gift to man. A gift. See, See you got to stop in the middle and hold up the gift. He lived to be 33, and then he died with a plan of salvation. So the choice is yours. The true gift of Christmas ain't found in stores. Thanks, DJ Logan. Okay. So I wanted to talk a little bit about gifts because this is the season of giving gifts. Now the fun thing about a gift is, uh, are you supposed to take a gift? No, you're never supposed to take a gift. You're supposed to receive a gift. And that's the cool thing is that God gave everybody the same gift. He gave everybody the gift of Jesus. But you can't just take that. You have to receive that from God. And when you receive it, he comes into your heart, and you get a changed life. And that's what this Christmas season's all about. You know, it's not about, I mean, this is a nice tree, right? It's got all the decorations. I saw this really cool tree yesterday. It had, like, neon on it, like neon. And then it had gold and silver and iodine and selenium and uh, gallium. Well, it was a chemistry. Sorry. Um, we haven't had any snow, so I can't tell the last joke. Do you want me to tell it anyway? Okay, fine. If you go out to the farmer's markets and you see a snowman trying to select which nose he wants, you can just walk away in disgust. It is gross to see a snowman picking his nose in public. <laughs> All right. Let's pray, you guys. Dear God, thank you for sending us the gift of Jesus this Christmas. Help us to uh, receive that gift and to receive him into our hearts and change us to be the people you want us to be. 
In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.